Israeli troops have entered the neighboring Lebanon's territory. Israeli armored vehicles have crossed the border with Lebanon in the Mechula area, while the Israel Defense Forces, IDF, declared the areas around the communities of Mechula, Misgav AM, and Kfar Jalati in northern Israel near the border with Lebanon a closed military zone. Israel plans to create a 20-kilometer buffer zone on the border, according to reports. A border breakthrough has also been recorded as IDF sappers are removing barriers in southern Lebanon. Lebanese troops have withdrawn from positions along Lebanon's southern border with Israel to 5 kilometers north of the border, a Lebanese security source told Reuters. Lebanese troops' withdrawal comes amid growing signs of an imminent Israeli ground invasion of southern Lebanon. Likewise, a Lebanese military official told AFP that the Lebanese army was not retreating but was moving and regrouping troops stationed on the southern border. U.S. State Department spokesman Matthew Miller said Israel had informed the United States of a series of limited ground operations in Lebanon. Local media has described the developments as the Third Lebanese War. It's a flare. People in the Lebanese capital of Beirut shared their reactions on Monday after Israeli strikes hit areas of the city over the weekend. Early Monday, an airstrike leveled an apartment building and killed three Palestinian militants in central Beirut, as Israel appeared to send a clear message that no part of Lebanon is out of bounds. As recently as two weeks ago, such a strike, outside of the main areas where Hezbollah operates and next to a busy transportation hub, would have been seen as an escalation and likely followed by a long-range Hezbollah strike into Israel. But the unspoken rules of the long-running conflict, and Hezbollah's ability to respond, are no longer clear. Israel has not claimed Monday's strike but is widely assumed to have carried it out. The strike killed three members of the Popular Front for the Liberation of Palestine, a small, leftist faction that has not been meaningfully involved in months of fighting between Israel and Hezbollah. In the past week, Israel has frequently targeted Beirut's southern suburbs, where Hezbollah has a strong presence, including the massive strike on Friday that killed Nasrallah, but had not hit locations closer to the city center. Images on the site reveal significant damage to the targeted building and its surroundings. Security measures have been heightened in the area, as authorities assess the situation and ensure the safety of residents. Residents of Beirut expressed their disbelief and fear in the wake of the bombing. What's happening is something we never expected, said Malik Sarduk, a local resident. The last thing we thought would happen was Beirut being bombed, especially in the Kola area. It's something immense, indescribable, Malik added. The bombing used to be far from us. Now, we no longer know where we'll be hit. Everywhere is being bombed now. That's the fear, Imad Mansour, another resident, stated. Ali Abu Khalil, a displaced individual from South Lebanon, expressed the dire situation faced by civilians as saying, they need to ease up a bit on the civilians. Their issue is with the resistance, Hezbollah. They've displaced us, and there are no homes left in the South. We are sitting here with no work and no jobs. Let the Israelis show us some mercy on us civilians. Hezbollah began firing rockets, drones and missiles into northern Israel after Hamas' October 7 attack from Gaza into Israel sparked the war there. Hezbollah and Hamas are allies and both supported by Iran, and Hezbollah said it would continue the attacks in solidarity with the Palestinians until there was a ceasefire in Gaza.
الشيء اللي عم بيصير نحن كنا بنستبعد اخر شيء تنقصف بيروت يعني خصوصا الكولا شيء مهول يعني ما ما في ما شيء لا يوصف شوف المنظر طلع <تصفيق> يعني ما 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 فيك توصف ما يعني ما في شيء ينحكى خوف ناس كلها بتخاف اكيد بس بتوكل على الله لانه كان بعيد عنا الضرب هلا صار بطلت تعرف وين ينضرب صار عم يضرب وين ما كان هيدا الخوف انا كنت نايم ابني الصغير هو اللي جا فيقني وعم يبكي والله ما ما اعطيت هم هلا جيت اتفرج العالم كلها زعلانة على اللي عم يصير مش بس ببيروت إذا كان عم يصير ببيروت ولا بالضاحي ولا بجنوب ولا بالبقاء ما كل ياتنا بلد واحد وعرب واحد لأمتين لحن ضل هيك الله وحده اللي بيعرف بس نتمنى أنه باي ينتهي كل هالشيء أنه خلص الشعب تعب الشعب بطل فيه يستحمل نحن صحيح عوايا وجبارين بس كمان في طاقة واحد يعني إلا ما تخلص معه بعدين نشوف كل أهلنا عم يموتوا هن لازم يخففوا شوية على المدنية أنا علاقتهم هن مع مع المقاومة مشان حزب الله نحن لك شردونا شردونا ما عاش في بيت بجنوب ما عاش في حدا بجنوب إعجين لا شغلة ولا عملة هي مش حلة خلي إسرائيلية ما بعرف أني يرحمونا شوية نحن المدنية يعني